Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning to everyone, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank God for another day. Amen. Um, let us open in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come once again in the name of Jesus. We come, dear Heavenly Father, first thank you for your grace, Lord. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for this day, Lord. Oh, Father God, and we shall and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Despite situation, despite circumstance, despite wars and rumors of wars, despite disease and affliction, oh dear Heavenly Father, despite disappointment, and de we're going to rejoice and be glad in this day, Lord, for it is a day that you have made. This is the day, dear Heavenly Father, that you've given us an opportunity as your people, dear Heavenly Father, to show forth your goodness, your grace, your love, and your mercy. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, and we pray now in the name of Jesus, asking that you increase us, dear Heavenly Father, in wisdom, in knowledge and understanding of you, of your word, Lord, as we look into your word this morning, Lord, as we come to your table. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, increase us, Lord. Oh, Father God, and help me, Lord, to decrease. Now, dear Heavenly Father, that Holy Spirit may increase to teach us and lead us and guide us, dear Heavenly Father, into your uncorruptible word, Lord. Father God, and we just thank you now, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, help us, dear Heavenly Father, that we be a one mind and one spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. We thank God for another day. I, I thank God for another opportunity to uh, come and, and, and share in in the word, amen. Uh, today, uh, le today's lesson, uh, we are on day 257, the apostles' baptism. Uh, all week we've been on this subject of baptism, amen. So let us get right into the word. Uh, uh, the foundation scripture comes from Acts 10, in verse 47, and it reads, can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? Amen. Uh, the apostles in the New Testament preached the baptism of repentance also baptizing new citizens into the kingdom of God in water, just as John the Baptist did. Yet their message went deeper than John the Baptist. They preached Christ's death and resurrection and the infilling of the Holy Spirit with power, which was given at Pentecost. So, so we know in, in the book of Acts, uh, uh, going back to the second chapter, when they all the the apostles they was gathered in the upper room, and 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 and, and others they they began the Holy Spirit. Uh, Christ had told them beforehand to wait um, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, and they would be given power um, and to to just tarry there. So that's the day of Pen that was the day of Pentecost. Amen. And it said the entire book of Acts recounts numerous examples of kingdom citizens being water baptized as well as being filled with the Holy Spirit, sometimes not in that order. Amen. Amen. Um, so we have seen both in the Old and the New Testaments that baptism is a spiritual work of God. Uh, which is entered into by faith. And we all know uh, the scripture uh, that it is impossible to please God without faith. Amen. So we must have faith, uh, believing that God is, is God and that he uh, would do just what he has promised. As citizens of the kingdom of God, water baptism is our proclamation that we are turning uh, from uh, our old life by repentance 
as it has been stated throughout this week, to repent means to turn. Uh, some, some, sometimes uh, we as a people, uh, when we repent, uh, we think it's just, you know, feeling, you know, being sorry for whatever sin we have um, committed uh, and, and just for that moment. And, but uh, there's uh, sometimes no turning. Repentance, repent. The word repent means to turn. Amen. And, and um, as citizens of the kingdom of God, water baptism is, is our proclamation that we are turning uh, from our old life, repentance, that we are, that, that we are, are now dead to sin, crucified with Christ, and our part, our past is buried with Christ, and we have been raised a new creation into Christ's life by the power of the Holy Spirit. And this was the apostles' baptism, and it filled of uh, the, expon the exponential growth of the early church. And it says, can you look back and reflect on the specific time of your water baptism? Use it as a um, signpost for your commitment uh, to follow the king. Uh, amen. So, you know, and, and, and as um, I've heard um, testimony from the various, uh, our various speakers uh, throughout the week um, uh, uh, about our, our water baptism, and then, you know, I can remember when I first got baptized uh, as a little boy, um, not uh, understanding um, the, 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 the purpose, the meaning fully, I, I got baptized because my mama said get baptized. You know, all the little kids, I think once we, we got seven or somewhere in that area where, you know, we, we, we had to be baptized. And then later on in life, um, that was my first baptism. Then I got baptized again um, when I, I was I, I, I was saved and, and God saved me and, and I was delivered and and I got baptized and it was back in the in the early nineties. Um, I got baptized again, and and it's so important that 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 we have. Uh, be surrounded by the right people when we get saved. Uh, when we, especially when we are a babe in Christ, uh, when we are learning, when we are growing, we have to be connected and and have the right people in our circle, and that that we grow and there's you know not being distracted. Um, because uh, you know for four years there I was on fire, but I had the wrong people in 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 my life at that time. Um, and and I backslid, and 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 I want to point out um, before I go further, it, it, some of us may have never backslid, but but backslid to backslide is one of the hardest um, places to come out of, because not that God has not forgiven us, and but 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 is. I found it, I can only speak for myself. I found it difficult to forgive myself. I don't know why. I don't I don't know why, but I just could not forgive myself. And <clears throat> for years. So anyway, I bike slid and 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 um it was it was it was a it was a it was a bad place to to come out of and and not again because of not having the 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 right people around me, um, and I'm talking about in my household, and but and and trying to fight that problem, fight that demon on my own. You know, sometimes things we can get so private that that we don't want to share, we don't want to to have others to pray with us. We feel that we can handle it. You know, but without um, the help of others and 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 Holy Spirit, uh, we are no match. So I just wanted to point that out. But, Amen. 
Amen. So we one of the the main the main um the 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 the, the, the subject here we 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 see where where Peter went and preached to uh, Cornelius and his household. It, the, the, uh, the point of this is that I received from, in talking about this lesson also, is that God has no respect of persons. Uh, Gentiles receive the Holy Ghost. During that time, uh, the, it, was, it was, you know, the Jews was, um, in fact, I want to just go back up to verse 44 where the Gentiles uh, received the Holy Ghost. It say, while Peter yet spake these words, said the Holy Ghost fell on all them which uh, heard the word. Now, now um, Cornelius, the centurion, had had a, had a dream. He had had a vision. And he sent for, he, he sent for, for Simon, for Peter to come and, 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 uh, and, and Peter had also had a dream, and and, and about uh, I think it, it was where the sheet uh, came down to the four corners, and it had the different, the various um, animals and, and and beasts and and creepy things, and it was it was concerning food, and 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 the Holy Spirit spoke to Peter. God spoke to Peter. And then telling him that that because uh, Peter said he was uh, Peter was hungry after he had went up to the roof and prayed, and, and he had been fasting and he was hungry. So God, um, uh, but told uh, uh, Peter was uh, told God that well I never partaken I never ate anything that was unclean uh, or common. And it goes the, the different things, the different foods, the, the beasts and the birds and, and, and stuff that, that God had presented to him uh, to feed him. And God let him know then that anything that I have uh, given uh, is clean. It's, it's not, um, uh, and it is, there, there's no, it's not common and it's not unclean. Anything that I've given, anything that I've made. And so, that was a that was a message to Peter um, for for things for what was about to take place, Amen. Um, so he began to so we see in and when we we see in thirst when we go back to verse thirty four, well we see that Peter began to speak and saying first of all, um, uh, understanding that God does not show favoritism, or uh, rather. And, and, and no matter who it is, uh, whoever fears God and I um, rightly uh, and, and, and accept and, and I rightly and, and, and walk upright is acceptable to, to God. Uh, he said, because we, we, we remember when we look at verse 36, we see that he sent his word to the children of Israel uh, preaching good news and peace by Jesus. Uh, who was Lord of all nations, and we can we can find that in 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 uh, Acts ten verses thirty four through thirty six. So it, it clearly shows that God has no respect of persons. Um, they they had a you know the the circumcision uh, uncircumcision the Jews and the Gentiles. Uh, the the good news of the gospel is for all people. Uh, when we look at uh, verse 37, um, we ourselves uh, know what happened throughout all Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism which John had preached. Um, we know how God had anointed Jesus of Nazareth uh, with the, with the, when, when John the Baptist had baptized him in the Holy, Holy Spirit, um, and baptized him with the Holy Spirit and with power. Um, it says uh, the the spirit came and descended on, on on him like a dove. It said we know how uh, he went about doing good and healing, and all who was oppressed by the devil, for God was with him, 
as God is with us today. Um, he, God, God is with us and has given us the same power and authority that he gave John the Baptist and that he gave Christ because we are partakers. We are now kingdom citizens. So he, he's given us the same power and authority, but we have to exercise it. Amen. Um, and we are all witnesses uh, of, of Christ as were the disciples was then, then because of his word. But I want to go back and to faith. We have to, in order to, in order to, um, the the fed to, to understand and 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 be filled with the Holy Spirit. First, we have to believe. We have to have faith that God is who He is. We have to have faith that God would do just what He said He would do. We have to believe the Word, and as we study His Word and grow in His Word, then we are filled. You know, the Holy Spirit comes in to teach us, to lead us, and guide us. And, and 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 keep us in right standing um, with our Father Jesus Christ, Amen, Amen. So I just wanted to point out the, uh, those points there. So when we look at In verse 42 and 43, I'm just I'm skipping around a little bit, but I wanted to just point out a few things uh, where it said he commanded us in, in verse 42 and 43, it says, and he commanded us to preach unto people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of the quick and the dead. Um, those who have been saved, those who have uh, uh, accepted Christ, those who believe, and even those who don't believe, uh, the quick and the dead. And to him, give all prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believed in him shall receive remission of sins. So he commanded uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, I said he commanded us to preach. Those are uh, kingdom citizens. We 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 are kingdom citizens, so we have a a charge to keep uh, as as people of God and people of you know of the kingdom of God to testify that Jesus is the appointed one uh, by God and judge of the living and the dead. Um, that, 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 was, that was Christ's commission uh, to Peter and to the other apostles uh, that we go, that, that they go out in, in, into the world and preach the, the, the gospel to all nations. Uh, this charge is still in place today for us. God, we have a charge to keep. God has commissioned us um, as we have been empowered um, by the word, by faith in the word, that when we have been empowered with the Holy Ghost. And then, so therefore there should not be no fear uh, that we go out and preach the good news of the gospel uh, to all places. He called us to go into the hedges, into the highways, um, being baptized with the Holy Ghost to, to, to spread this good news of the gospel. And as the, the, with authority, the same authority that he gave to Christ, and the same authority that he gave to the apostles, we uh, in the kingdom of God, we as kingdom citizens now has this uh, same authority. Amen. Amen. Uh, because um, as we, you know, we, 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 God has chosen us out of darkness into His marvelous light to 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 be light uh, 
to, to let our light shine that when others see us, they see Christ in us. And we should be able to, um, once we allow Holy Spirit, and we, we first, have, like I said, we have to maybe have faith in God, and then we have to let Jesus be ruler. We have to let Jesus, um, the word of God, be our final authority. Amen. Uh, standing on his word and being led by the spirit, being led by the Holy Spirit. Uh, because it, 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 the word clearly tells us that, that um, and through his name, through Jesus' name, through his power and authority, believers, uh, we, we've already we received uh, forgiveness of sin. Uh, there, and, uh, uh, and as Peter was preaching to Cornelius uh, and, and his house, it said his whole house, everybody, he had gathered his family members, he had gathered all of his uh, servants, and, and the house was full when, when Peter got there. And, and as he began to preach the word of God, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, came in. So that, that there's, shows that there's power in the word. Amen. The power of the word of God. Uh, that when, once we allow the word uh, to, to come into our hearts and into, you know, and, and Holy Spirit uh, to rule, then, then, then there, there's change. We, we have to change. Amen. Um, so the, the gospel is confirmed uh, by the Spirit. Let's look at verse. Now, now we come to verse 44. It said, while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all of them uh, which heard the word. Verse 45 saying, and they uh, of the circumcision with which believed were astonished. Those that those that those were the, the disciples that had came with Peter, they, they was astonished, they was amazed, as many as had came with Peter, it said, because of the Gentiles also uh, was poured out the gift of the Holy of the Holy Ghost. And we have to, that, that's more, uh, another point that we have to remember that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, it's a gift. It's a gift from God. Um, and so now it's not something that, that man can, um, it, don't, it don't come from man. It don't come from our works. It don't come from how good we may think we are, you know, or it don't come from, uh, it, 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 it's a gift. It's a gift from God. Um, it, it doesn't matter how, you know, how, where we uh, are, 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 think we are it, for his knowledge. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is it, it doesn't matter our position, our titles, or uh, the Holy Spirit comes from God because when we when we think back, we we remember how uh, the, the the Pharisees, the Sadducees, uh, they were well versed in the Word of God in, in the Old Testament, they in the laws of Moses, but but they did not have the Holy the Holy Ghost. There was a lot of of, of people that had heard about Jesus. Um, and then just like the like the centrum did, like like Cornelius did, um, from his teaching and, and preaching and healing in the region, but because of unbelief, and, and and you know, a lot of them they did not receive uh the Holy Ghost, amen. So, you know, the the, the Holy Ghost come come up upon those who. Who uh who believe? Verse forty six says, and they heard them speak uh, with tongues and magnify God. Then Pete then answered Peter, in verse forty seven, that's when they say, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? Uh, going back to God having no respect of persons. 
So, so while Peter was speaking this message, the Holy Ghost fell on all those who heard the word, those of the circumcision who, who believed and who had come with Peter were amazed that the gift of the Holy Ghost was poured out also on the Gentiles. For they heard them speak in other tongues and magnify God. The Holy Spirit failed. This was not the first time the gospel was preached to non-Jews. Uh, Philip worked in Samaria, for an example, and we see in, in, uh, in, in Acts the 8th chapter. Uh, God, however, uh, had, had a point to make, and he now supports the vision he gave to Peter with a miracle never before seen except on the day of Pentecost um, when Peter himself was one of those uh, in whom the Holy Spirit fell. Uh, that's going back to uh, when they were in the uh, upper room and in, in, going back to Acts, the second chapter. Um, so, you know, the Pentecost was repeated uh, at this time. Now the spirit was poured out also on the Gentiles because now we, we remember in the upper room, uh, they, they were, they were uh, all disciples uh, and, 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 and uh, followers of Christ that was in the, in, in the upper room, uh, most of them. And if I'm not mistaken, somebody, if I, I stand corrected, um, if somebody, uh, yeah, um, if I'm, if I'm uh, wrong, I don't want to be uh, misleading. Amen. I said, but that, that this was uh, the Pentecost being repeated. And now the spirit was poured out also on the Gentiles. Peter later recounts, as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them just as upon us at the beginning. Um, I said that in, in IC 11. So this was an outpouring of the spirit previously unique to the apostles at Pentecost but now repeated as a clear sign from God that God uh, had much regard for the Gentiles who feared him uh, as he has for Peter and his uh, fellow disciples, uh, apostles. Furthermore, there is one gospel for all. In repeating the miracle, uh, there was but one difference. Instead of the preaching, instead of the preachers receiving, the outpouring as on the day of Pentecost, it was in this case, the hearers on which the spirit was poured out. Amen. Amen. So, 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 uh, you know, the, the, the Holy, the, going back to the upper room, Christ had told them to tarry, to stay there and, until the, the spirit come. He said, until the comforter come because he said I will not leave you comfortless. Amen. So this outpouring, it was a repeat of, of, of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But as the as as it as you know it was it was a little different from that day of Pentecost because they had already they they had they had already uh believed and 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 had walked with Christ. And then they was already, they had already been delivered. Uh, but now the outpouring of the Gentiles, well, well, the Holy Spirit was poured out on the Gentiles. And here God is, is, is clearly um, showing that there's no respect. A person that at any time, any time at his will, uh, one can be saved. It doesn't matter what country he's from. It doesn't matter uh, what, um, practice that one grew up in. Um, one, one, one is still open. Uh, that God has no respect to person that they accept when they eyes are open and the blinders are removed, and they come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Um, I've seen um, various denominations. Uh, uh, practices I've seen conversion from from Muslims from from uh, 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 Jehovah Witnesses uh, I've seen conversions where they where they have came to the the knowledge of the truth and and their and and accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior 
Amen. So the gospel is obeyed in one baptism. Uh, when we look at uh, verses 47 and 48, it said, Can any man forbid water that these uh, should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded them uh, to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, so Peter said, Can any man forbid water to prevent these? these people from being baptized who have received the Holy Spirit as well as we. Amen. Um, previously, Peter has said that everyone who believes in Jesus will receive forgiveness of sin. That these Gentiles were not believers uh, could hardly be denied since the Holy Spirit has marked his recognition of their faith. It goes back to faith, amen. They they believe um, in the word of God, and 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 they had faith that God was 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 God, and that He would do just what they and they had seen the evidence uh, of God. Uh, they had seen it. I heard that if they had not seen it personally, they've heard about it, and and, and there was witnesses of the healing there was witnesses of, of the deliverance and 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 just things that 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 how god was moving at that time in the region uh, so therefore being believers uh, they had the right to become children of god see that 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 when once we believe once we have been born again we are uh uh, uh we, we are adopted into the, the the kingdom of God, Amen. We are co-heirs uh, with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So there's a right. It say, therefore, being believers, they had the right. We have the right to become children of God. Peter therefore commanded the baptism of a water in the name of Christ. This will allow them to be to come into Christ. And by God's grace, receive forgiveness for sins um, uh, from death. Amen. And uh, we can uh, see that in, in Romans, uh, the sixth chapter. Uh, being baptized into Christ. Uh, we wrote that, we, we see that, that, that it was the water baptism, not in the baptism of the Holy Spirit that these believers came into Christ's death. The baptism of the Holy Spirit was not for the forgiveness of sins, uh, but for convincing the skeptical and, and, pre, and prejudice that the gospel is true and God grant, grants to the Gentiles, uh, the non-believers, no lesser blessings than um, he grants to the Jews. In other words, you know, immersion in the water in Christ's name is is one baptism, one baptism that all believers must undergo. And it, it tells us that in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, and I think around the fifth verse, it says, Peter shows us that no believer may be refused this baptism, and no believer may uh, refuse it. So so that baptism by water is very important because that's why I said I the the last time I got baptized right but I I had I had come you know to the full knowledge of baptism and in the true meaning of baptism is is you know once we 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 are immersed into the water and then and the water baptism is a is it, it, it symbolizes being washed, you know, being being washed clean of of and the, the forgiveness of sins, being being washed and cleansed from all iniquities. Amen. And then when we when when and and the old man being washed away, uh, and 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 when we are come up out of the water. It, it it represents now you are we you know we should be a new creature you know our our hearts are changed our mindset are changed uh, uh, we all old things have been washed away you know all things have become new we are a new creation 
but we have to cultivate in order to maintain and, and stay in that place, uh, we have to uh, cultivate uh, that new life, you know? Uh, you take a, a plant, uh, you, you, you plant a plant, a, 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 a new plant in your yard, you have to cultivate it and you have to water it. You, it has to get um, uh, sunshine, it has to get, you know, nourishment and, and, and in, order to, uh, in order to grow. So it's the same way with us when it comes to uh, Christ and being that new creature, we have to stay in the word. That's, that's number one. We have to stay in the word. We have to, we have to pray without ceasing. You know, we have to pray for, 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 for growth. We have to pray for understanding. Uh, we have to pray for wisdom. The word of God tells us those who like wisdom um, acts. So, you know, we have, we can't be afraid to, uh, to come to our, our, our heavenly father uh, and ask him for uh, knowledge and understanding because he say he tells us in his word if, if you abide in, in me and let my word abide in you in, in, in the book of John if you abide in me and let my word abide in you and then you can ask what you will and it will be given to you so, so we, we have to exercise our faith that's, that's you know um, we have to exercise our faith and in, in, in believe in God and he will increase us uh, from faith to faith. He, that's a, also another promise. So, you know, Cornelius and his household um, were because Cornelius he had not he had not seen uh, Christ personally, uh, 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 but he believed. He he believed. So the, and the, the word tells us that it's greater that we believe that it's greater. Uh, the blessings is greater for us because we believe and we haven't having not seen him. And there, there were there were many in that, that when Christ came in the form of man, when God came in the form of man, uh, 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 Christ, our Lord and Savior, he walked here on earth with many that didn't believe, you know, which he had already warned us that he say some will believe and some won't. You know, so but but what greater gift to those who believe having not seen? Amen. But we have the word and we have Holy Spirit to lead us and and and, and to to teach us, and then and we have a a charge to keep in going out and and um, preaching the good news of the gospel. So the apostles going by the apostles' baptism. Uh, being filled, being, receiving the Holy Ghost, um, like I say, and God has no respect of persons. He will pour out His Spirit on. Uh, he he said, He says in His Word, can't remember exactly where it is, uh, but but He He, he reigned on the just a, 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 as well as the unjust. So you know, we we can't and I, we can't get to a place that we think that we are. Um, so much better than someone else because we are saved. We can't forget where we came from. Now, that's one of the things that I see. Um, one of the problems I see within the body of Christ. Um, and I say that you know the entire body of Christ in in, in watching, and uh, sometimes we as a people um, can come to a, a certain. Uh, 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 place in life, uh, be a title or, or you know, a uh, position or, or clout. You know, we can sometimes um, God uh, bless us to 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 uh, come to a place uh, financially or even you know spiritually, emotionally. You know that that we can sometimes forget where God has brought us from. And and we have to remember, and, uh, we can't fix nobody, we can't save nobody. And sometimes, it, and I know we we all have been there. Our family members, our friends, our loved ones. When when we we share the good news of the gospel with them, um, 
sometimes we can expect them to to just get it right away, forgetting how long it took us, you know, how long God chased us, amen, to that that we came to the place that that we are saved, that that we, you know, we said yes. So, you know, we have to remember that we are saved by grace and not something that we've done or the, because we were so good and 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 not be and I'm, I'm I'm saying that to say that you know let us not be um, come to that that place where we are judgmental or condemning. You know we have to show love and show mercy as we preach the the and and proclaim the good news of the gospel. We have to also live it. You know, not just something that we we say or or, or, or put on. You know, we have to live. The word, hey, amen. Uh, I pray that um, something has been said that that can uh, help us uh, uh, the, and and grow. And again, there this uh, we've been talking about baptism, baptism, baptism of the of this is today's lesson was the apostles' baptism and the outpouring of. Uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, I guess I, I, let's see it. I don't know if it's anything in the chat. Uh, amen. Amen. Praise and repent. Amen. 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 Uh, today, uh, Paul, at this time, I will turn it back over to Apostle. Uh, if you want me to pray for, um, uh, pray for the mountain, the mountain of business today. Is it the mountain of business or entertainment? Entertainment, entertainment. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus. We come, Father God, thanking you again for this day, Lord. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for those whom you've opened doors, dear Heavenly Father, in the mountain of entertainment, Lord. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus, I can that you um, do a continuous stirring in their spirit, Lord. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, that they do not compromise your word, Lord. Help them, dear Heavenly Father, to stand, Lord, in, in proclaiming the good news of the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let some, let in some way, dear Heavenly Father, that your message come through, Lord. If it's not by uh, 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 the, 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 if it's not by their books or by their uh, performance, Lord, by their actions, Lord, by how they carry themselves, Lord. Let their light so shine, dear Heavenly Father, that no matter if it's on the big screen, no matter if it's on TV or radio, Lord, oh, dear Heavenly Father, that let their light so shine that when others see them, when others hear them, Father, that they will see our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that they will hear our Lord and Savior. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, help us all, dear Heavenly Father, increase us, increase us in wisdom, increase us in knowledge and understanding of you. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, that we be a better people, Lord. Help us, dear Heavenly Father, that we, uh, we be the people that you've called us out of darkness into your marvelous light to be, Lord. Help us to be good witnesses, Lord. Help us to be good ambassadors, good apostles, Lord. Help us, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to, 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 to be a testimony of your goodness, of your grace, of your mercy and your love, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us, dear Heavenly Father, that we walk upright, Lord, that we do nothing or say nothing to bring shame or disgrace to the kingdom of God. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, in every entertainment field, Lord, help those, dear Heavenly Father, put those in, in place, dear Heavenly Father, that believe in you, Lord, that stand on your word, that, that are filled, dear Heavenly Father, with the Holy Ghost, Lord. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, that they will not compromise, 
that they win when in this season, dear Heavenly Father, they will not compromise your word, Lord. So we pray for this mountain line now, Lord. I ask dear Heavenly Father, that you empower them, dear Heavenly Father, and give them the ability, Father God, to stand no, oh, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, Lord. No, help them to stand, dear Heavenly Father, on your word and your promise. Dear Heavenly Father, knowing that you are ever present and that you will never leave them nor forsake them. Father God, and we just thank you now. And we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor and all the glory in the name of Jesus. And we lift up everyone on this line, Lord, every partner and every member, dear Heavenly Father, morning glory. Everyone, dear Heavenly Father, every, every ministry, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, asking that you, you keep us and you strengthen us, Lord. Strengthen us, dear Heavenly Father, in power and in might. Help us, dear Heavenly Father, that we exercise the authority that have been given unto us, Lord. Help us, dear Heavenly Father, that we speak boldly. We proclaim the good news of our Lord and Savior. Boldly, dear Heavenly Father, with courage, not being swayed, not being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine, dear Heavenly Father, not being, uh, uh, not losing our focus, dear Heavenly Father, because of circumstance or situation, Lord. Help us, Father, in every situation, in every circumstance that we put on the mind and the attitude of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And for this, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's back into you.